Hello my soccer universe to another what to watch and this time it really feels like the real thing because now except for Liga, all the leagues are playing. Bundesliga is almost ready, uh, done. So we have six leagues that we'll be looking into and given that Liverpool will make its first appearance, one where they potentially could clinch a title, more on that in a bit, I'm wearing Liverpool. But we'll start in La Liga where actually two pretty big matchups. The one already on Friday evening, Sevilla Barcelona, that's three against one at least at the time of recording. Probably still at the time if I think about it. So that is a huge matchup, a uh, potential trap game for Barcelona. And then the Real Madrid also has to go away to a, a tough opponent to Real Sociedad, that's two against four. So pretty interesting round. This could go a long way in deciding who will win the title. And the way La Liga schedule, always Barcelona goes first and then uh, Real Madrid, which in a way is probably a disadvantage for Real, for Real Madrid, but you know, it's all about how you see it in your head. Um, I'm also looking, but it's more a traditional matchup than a good matchup this season. Um, Bilbao against Betis could be interesting. And um, regarding relegation, since Espanyol has been doing okay, all right ish, Espanyol against Levante could be a big one. Uh, Atletico needs to get something going against Valladolid and Valencia better get a win if they want to get something um, into the Champions League. Because there's a huge chance that you can make up ground and the same goes for Getafe as well. I'm looking for Getafe, can I find them? Yes, they play against Eibar, so that's a pretty must-win situation. Premier League. First full round starting on Friday with a bang, Spurs against United. Um, it's so many good games, but I probably will watch uh, the Barcelona, Barcelona at Sevilla game. But Spurs against United, that's been already a little bit of heat, you know. Mourinho has been at United, as you all know now, he's at Spurs. He has been doing a little bit poking at Solskjaer and so on. So let's see how that will go. Um, Pretty big game, I think, for United. More United than Spurs because um, to cement their claim for a uh, Champions League spot. If I look elsewhere, I think the other huge game is Everton Liverpool. And to be honest, Schultz City. I mean, it, this round could already. If City loses once and Liverpool wins once, it's done. So, uh, should City lose midweek Arsenal, they're playing um, Wednesday, and I'm recording this Wednesday morning so i don't know the result should they lose and liverpool win they win, would win within the derby uh it could also happen already on monday when liverpool wins and uh, in, uh city loses to burnley which i don't really see happening uh what else i'm a little bit out of it watford leicester looks in, in interesting although they are on opposite end of the table um aston villa chelsea uh, yeah don't really have one. I mean, a West Ham United against the Wolves for some reason popped up. No, no um, I think it's the two Spurs against United and Everton against Liverpool. A Merseyside derby is always there. So, uh, sounds interesting. Bundesliga. This is what, finally we have the Bundesliga where we want it. All the games played at the same time. I love it. This will be a wonderful conference. Nine games da, 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 going back and forth. Yes, some games will be over overlooked because they're not that important. I'm looking at you, Bayern, against Freiburg, although they probably will give up the trophy afterwards. But this is really how I like my Bundesliga, if there are many games uh, together. To me, one matchup stands out above the others. It's not the leipzig Dortmund clash, because they, they both will go into the Champions League. It's probably a run for second place, and even there, Dortmund looks safe. No, Mainz against Bremen. That is huge. Absolutely huge. Düsseldorf Augsburg uh, for similar reason as well, but Mainz against Bremen is a huge ma 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 matchup. Should Mainz, should Bremen lose, then I think they're down. Uh, and they have very minimal chances, depending also on what Düsseldorf is doing against Augsburg. That's a must win for Bremen. A huge mountain to climb, but well, from what they have shown lately, maybe there is a chance there. Uh, also look at Köln Frankfurt. That's those two cities are not too far off, so uh, that's also kind of a traditional duel. Serie A also makes a comeback, and we start off with makeup games from before the break. And yeah, I think 
nothing really too great there. I mean, there is uh, Inter Sampdoria, I think, is the big one, but also Atalanta against Sassuolo looks not too bad. And then the next round starts every Monday. So from Saturday up until um, now Wednesday, we have a whole a lot of fixtures. Um, I have to say, uh, Atalanta and Inter probably a little disadvantage. Yes, they having many they have many games in a very short period. So I I I don't like it. So we had. Uh, into some 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 tour in the Monday. We'll talk about the other other games later. Uh, Fiorentina, Brescia, and Lecce against Milan, which is probably what I will be watching. Um, and we, uh, as I said, um, Atalanta Sassuolo on Sunday. Verona, Cagliari looks also not too disinterested. Torino, Parma uh, is yeah. Those are the matches that we'll see in Serie A. Kind of exciting, I have to say, to have Serie A also fully back. The one thing that I'm wondering though. And I have heard, heard, heard as many times. Juve will have played three times before Lazio plays for the first time. That doesn't seem all that right. The Lazio, uh, as you see here, Wednesday starts also with a big match at Atalanta. So that's going to be interesting. Very quickly, Portugal, where are the two big boys? Really, they are not in any form and still they will, one of them will make the... Uh, championship. They have two intriguing uh, games, but they are all on Tuesday. So uh, Portugal has uh, Sunday and Monday. We'll talk about the other games in the next what to watch, but we'll see. Benfica, Santa Clara, and Porto Boa Vista. Uh, Portugal is so weird in how they are scheduling the rounds to span um, five, six days, and then it gets all messed up. There's only always one rest day in there, so that's why I'm a little bit messed up there. And last one is, of course, Austria. Where well, here it's nicely Saturday, Sunday. Um, yeah, it's the repeat games from uh, what happened uh, in the midweek. I don't know the also results either yet. Um, but Sturm Lask is the one that I'll be watching, and Salzburg Wolfsburg is an intriguing matchup as well. Well, let me know what you'll be watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you found it informative. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.